Welcome back to the vlog guys and look who I'm with. It's my best mate James. Let's start the vlog. In the stillness somewhere above The city lights you're falling in love Still aware you know it is true That you are lost and this is a clue So I'm just here at Cool Art Road. If you've been watching the vlog for a little while, you know exactly where that is. Uh, the settlement for Tony and Donna is on Monday, so just come down to collect the keys and hang out with my best ja James. He doesn't love me anymore. That one tried to eat my jacket. Hmm? See, there's still love there. Morning guys, it's Saturday morning now and uh, today I thought I'd talk about when I bought my first property. So I got my first property like a year ago now and my motivation was very different to most people. I got interested in real estate after reading the book Rich Dad Poor Dad like a lot of people and if you haven't read that book go and do yourself a favour and read it, you'll definitely enjoy it. So Rich Dad Poor Dad talks about buying assets with the money that comes from your wage that are going to pay you a return. So real estate, for example. And I found this absolutely fascinating. The thought of buying a property, holding it long-term or forever, and relying on that for an income in the future rather than a job. So I got really interested in this idea and I started researching about property and that's actually how I got into real estate. Hold that thought, we gotta go look at a property. After you. That's the first open house guest, Riley. So rather than following the usual motivation for someone buying their first property, which is to actually have a home to move into, I opted to instead pick up an investment property that was going to pay me a return each month. The first thing I did was find an area that I could buy a property where the rent would pretty much cover the mortgage. So after looking at all the areas in Melbourne that actually had the rental return that I needed, I decided to buy in Geelong. So typically with areas like this, you don't get good capital growth, but I had three things that I thought might give me some good capital growth as well as the rental return I was looking for. The first was that it has the largest population of any regional city. The second was that there was a lot of businesses relocating to Geelong, moving their headquarters down there, which gave me confidence that jobs would increase, therefore pushing the price up. And thirdly, everyone I knew was talking about it. This gave me confidence that eventually I would start to see some growth. I offered on three properties before I actually got one and the funny thing was that even being a real estate agent having sold hundreds of homes, I was still really nervous. I was thinking about things like what if I've forgotten something, what if the tenant moves out, what if it's damaged, um, what, you, what if I hadn't accounted for a certain cost. I looked at every property that was on the market that was comparable to the style of property that I was looking for and also every property that had sold in the last six months that was comparable so I had a really good idea of what values were sitting at. The property that I ended up buying was tenanted. The really good thing about that was that it actually prevented anyone else from competing against me that wanted to move straight into the home. It was also really messy. The property wasn't damaged, but the tenant had a lot of stuff, which would have put a typical buyer off. But because I've seen so many homes transformed from when we go in to list the property right through to when we sell it, I was able to overlook all of that stuff and say, well, they haven't damaged the property and it's going to, I'm probably going to get it at a much better price than what I would any other property that's presented really well. Fast forward 12 months, um, I've had 23% growth on the property according to a bank valuation that I just had. I The tenants haven't moved out and I'm now looking for my second property. And I'm just as nervous as I was about all the same things as when I bought the first property. This shows that sometimes you have to just back yourself and uh, do things that are perhaps scary that you know are gonna benefit you in the long run. 
That's the end of the vlog, guys. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe because as always, I will love you forever. You having a better week this week? I like work. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna show everyone what you got? Today's a good day. <laughs>